Hi everyone, and welcome to another painting tutorial. Today, we're tackling something that I've been wanting to try for a while, an entire squad of grim things, those giant wolves that serve as mounts for orcs. But this time, we're focusing on wild grim things without any riders. These creatures are an excellent offensive unit on the battlefield. They're fast, they hit hard, and they're surprisingly affordable point-wise, though they can be a bit fragile. I've been eager to test this unit in a game, and painting them is going to be a quick process, so I'm excited to get started. I could have gone for a super simple approach here, but I decided to keep things consistent with the rest of my grim things. I actually went back and checked one of my older painting tutorials just to make sure I matched the color scheme with the mounted ones I painted ages ago. It's always nice when you can keep an army looking cohesive, right? We're starting, like Otfin, with a black primer. It's my go-to for most of my miniatures because it gives such a solid base to work with. Plus, it's forgiving, especially when we're painting creatures like these wolves that are meant to look gritty and wild. Once the primer is dry, I'm doing a rough dry brush of brown over the whole figure, except for the recesses. We want to keep those dark to really bring out some contrast. I love the effect this gives on models like these. It makes the fur pop and gives the impression of layers without too much effort. It's quick, which is a bonus when you're trying to finish an entire squad. Next, I apply fur brown across the body of the grim things. This adds warmth to the model, giving the wolves that wild, earthy look that suits them perfectly. For the claws and teeth, I'm using mummy robes, which is a nice light color that contrasts well with the darker tones we've already applied. It's important to keep those details sharp, but again, this is a quick paint job, so no need to go overboard here. Now for the fun part, washes. I start with a mid-brown wash over the skin to add depth and shadow, and then I use strong tone for the fur. It darkens things up a bit and gives the model that grimy, wild look I'm going for. I also apply light tone to the claws and teeth to make them stand out just a little more. Finally, we add a little splash of color with phoenix flames for the eyes. This fiery orange is going to make those grim things look absolutely ferocious on the battlefield. It's just a small detail, but it really brings the models to life. Once the grim things are done, we move on to the bases. I want to stay consistent with the bases of my grim fong riders, so I'm adding rocks and static grass, glued down with a mix of brown paint and wood glue. Super simple, but it ties everything together. Now, here's where I'm going to do something a little different. Up until now, I've been painting my orcs and their mounts with brown base rims. That was before I realized that I could pick up black markers for 35 cents each here in Japan. So, this time around, I'm using a black marker for the base edges. It's so much cleaner and just gives a more polished look to the whole model. I'm definitely making the switch moving forward. And that's it, this squad of wild grim fangs is ready for battle. These models were designed by Medbury Miniatures, and I have to say, I really like his work. I picked the set because they closely resemble the grim fangs I've already painted, but seeing how quick and fun they were to work on, I'm tempted to check out other creators for more variety. I think it could be a lot of fun to mix and match different styles while keeping a consistent overall color scheme. If you're interested in these minis, you can grab the STL files from Medbury Miniatures page, or if you don't have a 3D printer, you can pick up the pre-printed versions from Proxy Wars. I'll drop the links below for both options. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and that it inspires you to tackle your own Grim Fong squad. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more painting tips, and I'll see you in the next video.